Well, hello everybody. I'm Paul. Welcome to my desktop. I just started a new version, fresh, of LMMS. And I want to say right off the bat, I am a LMMS noob. So if you know anything about it, much at all, you probably want to tune out of this video. What I'm going to do is show the very basics, because sometimes guys are really... Um, trying to do tutorials they forget about people that are just totally starting and they go so fast and it's just hard to to keep up with what they're doing so um first thing i'm just going to declutter things by closing out those windows and today we're going to concentrate on this window right here this is your beat in now the cool thing is you can always change the name so what you would do is find it over on what they call the song editor. See where it says beat baseline zero. Say we want to right click and we're going to rename it just, uh, we'll call it drums one. Okay. All right. Because that's all we're going to lay in here. Now, so you just get the idea of it. They give you this kicker. is uh, It's just a default. So just so you see how the program works, we'll start with that. What you do is, this is time going this way. And when it gets to the end here, it repeats. It makes a loop, say. So what you can do is drop in beats. So right here, we're going to use this kicker as it is. And I'll hit play. So you're going to hear the one beat. And it, as it cycles through, you hear nothing else till it comes back to the beginning. Now, the tempo is 140 beats per minute right now. So let's just drop in. Okay, that shows you like basic rhythm at 140 beats. Now let me, the way you can change the tempo, just double click that and then say if you want to drop in here, if you'd hit 70. Now you notice it's going half speed from what it was. Let's do it again and we'll put it to 100. Okay, that's pretty simple enough. So now, Let's go and find another drum to throw in here. Let's go to the thing that looks like a note. It's called My Samples. And you can go to Drums, and that opens all kinds of drums. Okay. Then you can also go to like a drum synth. These are different like synths. And then you can go, I like the ones that are in TR-77. It's got a pretty good sounding kick. And you can sample, just hear a sample of it by clicking on it once. Did you hear that? Okay, that sounds pretty cool. So we'll take that. Now there's two ways to do that. You can double click it. When you double click it, it will put it over here. Now sometimes you'll want it over in the song editor. To do that, you'll just click and drag. And we can also click and drag and drop it right here. So let's take that, let's take, um, let's see, hi-hat, sounds pretty good. Now, for example, now this I'll double click, and it puts it over here. Okay, so now you see, when you hit play, we've got our one beat for every measure. Now, and then it loops, see, it's a continuous loop. Now, if you want to get more fancy than that, going down the road, you can expand this so it'll show you more than, say, four measures of of your song, so to speak. Some people, you may just want to keep it simple and just keep the four. So let's just work with what we've got right now, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So that's pretty kind of repetitious. So let's just, and this is how you turn things on and off. Say we're going to take out every second beat. 
Okay. And now we're going to use this kick. You see, it's very simple. See, if you wanted to take out the top ones, you could just click that right off. It's pretty neat. Okay. So now, let's say we wanted to add our hi hat. And then it just repeats over and over and over. Sorry, there's some boats out on the lake. I got my window. If you can hear that, it's one of those loud jet boats. So it's pretty noisy. Um, so now it's just repeating over and over and over. So your low constraint would just say four measures of a loop as to what you can. It's going to kind of get repetitious after a while. So what you can do is. If you hit the screen button here, it is going to add four more measures. Now you notice we don't have anything here. So what it's doing, it's playing this loop, playing what we have, but then it says, uh oh, nothing's here, so I don't make any noise. And I go around, and I play where you've told me to. And you see what I'm saying? I'm sorry if this is too basic for a lot of people, I'm sure, but hopefully it'll help somebody. It's just getting started. So let's just go ahead and, um, for example, continue our little uh, our little pattern that we got going here. And it helps to, <laughs> you really need to look close. You can make it bigger to make sure you get your, um, see like, here you've got say seven between. And so you want to make sure you have seven between, seven between. Same thing here. Now we've got the kick going in the first of all the lighter gray ones. So we'll just stick that in there. That sounds about right. So we'll just continue with this. So now you have a longer loop. But we've got it still sounding the same. Maybe we want to change something right at the end of it. Maybe we want to just have. You hear how that just throws that in there? That's kind of cool. Now, for example, let's go back and drop our drums down. And let's see. Now, say I want to add this so I can double click, double click this high hat, and it brings it in. But you'll notice one thing. Okay, the squares aren't the same size. When it brings it in, it brings it in just it's back to the four bars. So what we need to do. Let's just click on one of them and then come down here and tell it to add steps until you match up. And let's go back down and get a snare. And add steps. Oh, where do we want to throw them in there? Sounds not right, huh? All right now, let's see here. Sometimes people like to hear clap. Let's see. Uh, it's kind of like a. And there's other ones in here. And you would. Maybe 
do this. Okay, now I want to show you this. So you can change the volume for each individual thing here. Let's say the clap's a little loud. Let's put it lower in the mix. What you can do is two ways. You can double click. This is a slow way. And put in a value. Let's say it's 100. We want it half as loud. Put in 50. Okay. Another way is to go over the knob. Left click. Hold it down and drag your mouse downward to lower, upward to raise the volume. I watch all kinds of tutorials and it took me forever to figure that out. <laughs> so, I prefer the click and drag myself. So that's pretty much how you can do a funky low beat. Now let's uh, stop it and we will put it back to the original tempo, which is a little bit faster, but you know, depending on what kind of uh, a tune you're going for, this may be more appropriate. Let's see what we got. Something like that. Anyway, that just gives you a a real quick sample of how to do some of the drum stuff. Um, I guess next tutorial we'll look at doing some bass lines. And uh, I don't want these to go on too long. But hopefully you found it useful. Until next time, we'll see you.